Hi everyone, in this quick tip, I'll show you how to use contact point boundary to better control 3D toolpaths in Inventor HSM. On this part, there's a surface that I'll finish with a parallel toolpath. I'll just select the tool, machining boundary, and set the step over to something reasonable. The results look all right, but if we take a closer look, I can see the toolpath is driving the tool so that the tip touches the machining boundary. This means a section of this toolpath is essentially doing nothing and using the tip of the ball end mill when it really doesn't need to be used. This is where contact point boundary comes in. I'll duplicate the operation to maintain all the selections I just made, and now go into the geometry tab to turn on contact point boundary. The tool tip shows exactly what this parameter will do. Instead of using the center line of the tool to limit the toolpath, now the point of contact with the part will be used. Unfortunately, these results don't look too good. There's a lot of crazy noise that's caused by the steep fall off at the edges of the boundary. Here's how to fix that. Back in the geometry tab, add an additional offset of the negative value of the tolerance. Sometimes you will need to multiply by the tolerance and I've gone up to three times the tolerance value. Typing tolerance here is pulling the tolerance value in from the passes tab. This will keep the toolpath from generating with all the noise, since it won't look at where the edges fall off when calculating. This toolpath has way less noise, and the ball end mill is only going as high as it needs to to cut the surface, since the calculation is based off of tool contact. No extra motion, and the cut stays off the tip of the ball. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful, and thanks for watching.